I'm Ian Cross from Swimming Without Stress. Just going to show you a little bit of work that I did um, over a series of five 20 minute lessons with a little lad called Tyreek, who here you can see is quite a ragged swimmer, no real proper tuition, um, but quite confident in the water. Now, what we want is a bit more organisation, and the first thing we do is work a bit on dry land, and we get this sense of the moving from side to side with the head and the spine in the middle so we've got a bit of an idea of the head leading the spine lengthening and everything being organized around that and this is the first attempt at that in the water this is his first lesson and he looks a bit calmer and a bit more organized because his head and neck are quieter this is the second day and really he's just showing here that he's absorbed a little bit of what we did yesterday because he's already starting to make it his own. Still when he breathes his head goes off target, his head goes towards the corner of the pool instead of where he wants to go. And this is on the third day. And the breathing is becoming more an integrated part of the stroke. So on the one side his head's still pointing not where he wants to go but he's getting there he's still using his legs too much and here he's still kicking too much but there's quite a nice direction in the water a nice sense of balance and the breathing's looking better all the time now that's not the finished article but he's done very well in literally just about you know a hundred minutes altogether here this is typical everybody wants to do too much with the arms in breaststroke so here he is this is his breaststroke before any work with me and he's pulling his arms back quite vigorously so they're getting in the way of the legs which should be the thing that make you move forward and also of the breathing here he's having a go at creating a glide and it's difficult for him to trust that froggy kick But what we did on the third day is got him using a snorkel and this enables him really to not worry about the breathing and then he can really get to grips with the timing of the arms and legs. And see, so it's giving him time to sort of get it a little bit wrong. Here he's doing too much with his arms and then work it out. And here he's getting it. He's getting the timing of the arms and legs. They're working together to create a glide. 